we gather this evening to celebrate God and the ministry to which God calls us. But as we gather, this country is in turmoil. It is in crisis. Over 160 years ago, Abraham Lincoln said, a house divided against itself will not stand. This house called the United States of America is so divided. There are those who seek to do harm to the very thing that they hold dear. We cannot continue in this way. It is not within our values or our ethics to continue with the violence and the hatred and the demonization of one another. And it certainly isn't of Christ. Our presiding bishop, the Most Reverend Michael Bruce Curry, wrote these words to the House of Bishops today. Today at 3.15 Eastern Time, I shared a a live video message in light of today's events at the U.S. Capitol, including a call to prayer and using suffragist B in the morning prayer service right to, as found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 98, and a Prayer for Peace, which is found on page 815, and a prayer for the human family. That message can be found on the home page of the Episcopal Church website. Shortly thereafter, I received a call from the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Most Reverend well, Justin Welby, who called to pray with me and I informed him of a message sent to all the primates of the Anglican Communion, calling them to pray for us. The Archbishop assured me, saying, quote, we stand with you in prayer. I ask your prayers this evening for those who cannot accept the truth and choose darkness. I ask your prayers for those who seek to do harm out of anger, resentment, or even prejudice and hate. I ask you to pray for them because they are us. They are our brothers and sisters, whether they realize it or not. I ask your prayers for the police, the National Guard, for frontline responders who are in this crisis seeking to restore order to our capital and the streets of Washington. I ask your prayers for those who are hurt and those who care for them. I ask your prayers for our senators, our congressmen and women, for those who are elected and those who are about to be elected to join their ranks. I ask your prayers that truth and justice truly be the American way. I ask your prayers for all of us. We are all in this together. We cannot allow the darkness of hatred and division to continue to captivate us, silence us, or keep us from praying for one another. And finally, I wanted to share with you the words from, and I just lost it, (laughs) from one of the hymns that came to my mind in our hymnal, number 594. God of grace and God of glory, On thy people pour thy power, crown thy ancient church's story, bring its bud to glorious flower. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, 
for the facing of this hour. Lo, the hosts of evil round us, scorn thy Christ, assail his ways. From the fears that long have bound us, free our hearts to faith and praise. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the living of these days. Cure thy children's warring madness. Bend our pride to thy control. Shame our wanton selfish gladness, rich in things and poor in soul. Grant us wisdom. Grant us courage, lest we miss thy kingdom's goal. Save us from weak resignation to the evils we deplore. Let the search for thy salvation be our glory evermore. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, serving thee whom we adore, serving thee whom we adore. It is time for the church not only to pray, but in its faith, to spread love and reconciliation to those near and far away. And we start that this night, both in praying for our country, but lighting a light of hope in this ordination as we welcome Melissa into the priesthood, as we welcome her to share the word of God, the peace of God, the light of God, for we need that today and tomorrow and forever. <laughs> 